It's super simple, super kind of Spartan. In the studio, you might use a tiny bit more, and I tend to go straight for like amp distortion when we're in the studio. But this works really well. It's this JVM 205 Marshall, which I've started using in the last like, year or something. The distorted sounds on it really, really good as well, but changing on the fly live for me is a little bit difficult. And for a Marshall, they're kind of known to struggle with cleans a little bit, but. Sounds really, really good for cleans. You can get real loud without it. Breaking up too much or whatever. So yeah, really, really good. And then pedal-wise, just use just a tuner, obviously, and then a Maxon Tube Screamer, kind of copy thing. So kind of like mild, mild drive. And then stack that with a Crowther, Crowther hot cake which I've had for fucking years and is, is absolutely bad as a, as a result. Sounds wicked. Reverb, by the way, I've just got coming out, uh, I'm running a bit of reverb about the amp head. And then I have this chorus on, pretty much the whole time, boss chorus ensemble running high-ish I suppose just for a bit of kind of color just because I guess for us because we're the one we've got the one guitar so having the chorus kind of gives a bit more color to like the whole sound it makes it sound a bit, more, bit less like it's just one guitar or whatever and then a noise suppressor to stop it being really noisy but yeah I hate pedals basically like they're they're a nightmare I want to use as little as possible I'm hoping to get this down to less like eventually I had this experience when I was I think in was me and Billy's one of, one of our first bands uh, we were in a surf band called the Imposters and we played a school assembly, like talent show. The first pedal I ever bought was a Dan Electro reverb pedal, which made it sound like that kind of like, you know, like, I can't do one here with that. That kind of super reverb -y sound. And I didn't know you need to change batteries on them more than you need to power or anything like that. For some reason, there was this thing built into the, the pedal where when it was running low in battery, a really loud alarm would sound to warn you, I suppose, that it was it was low in battery, and I had no idea what was going on. So in front of the whole school, our first performance, like absolutely terrified, it starts going wah, 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 and everyone's looking like what is going on. I'm freaking out and I'm running over and I figure out it's the thing and I unplug it and plug it back in again and I kind of go like <coughs> and it's working and I go, okay, okay, fine. That happened three times in a row. I think it's what's given me as much anxiety as I have about performing. And so that's the reason I try and use as little pedals as possible. There's less that can go wrong, I suppose. Anyway, and then finally, my guitar. And it's just a new, I think it's a player series, it's called, Strat. Usually I use shorter scale kind of offset guitars. A Fender Bronco a lot, and one of the new Duosonics, Fender Duosonics. This is amazing. Got this really recently. Humbucker in the bridge for a bit more kind of bite and stuff. A single call Strat bridge is maybe a little bit thin, but I guess what we're trying to do. It's my jam. Absolutely love it. My new boy. Yeah. And that's it. That's pretty much it. It's all the, it's all the stuff. And these and these puppies, the most important ingredient. <laughs>